Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and we're looking at Anthem on the Surface Book 2. And here's my system information as well. So you can see I'm, I'm running a very old version of Windows 10 because uh, I could not get this to run on the preview build. So I thought, oh, I'll start as early as it'll allow me to. So um, I'm actually quite happy with the old build of Windows 10. A lot of things run smoother and better. So here you can see the settings that I have it at and, uh, and, and what's recommended by NVIDIA. I don't know, why would you play it in 4K and just do all the settings at low? That just seems ridiculous to me. Right, so we're playing Anthem on the Surface Book 2 15 inch. And um, this one has a 1060 GPU. We're going to do a free play, select it, and uh, we're just going to launch here. Alright. Uh, so this was originally set to um, high settings at 4K, uh, 3280 by 2160, I don't, I don't remember what it is actually. But the three by two ratio that the Surface Book Two has, and it looked nice. Felt a little slow, as so I dropped it down to uh, 2560 by 1600. I think that's what it is. I'll show you the settings, and bumped it up to ultimate. So my preference would be lower resolution because you're using a laptop screen, and it's and you have to be really close to the screen to really make use of that 4K. As far as I'm concerned, a lot of people are concerned. So I usually drop the resolution, bump up the effects, so it looks nicer. And so I'll show you what that looks like at a couple different settings. I'm using the uh, NVIDIA in-game overlay, which is why there it is up here. Systems looking very good. I'll start reviewing incoming com traffic for strange activity. Keep the me updated. FPS settings. So, well, let's see. And here, use the D-pad. So, video. You see? Oh, looks like it's somehow back up to thirty-two forty by twenty-one sixty. Yes. Graphic settings went to really low. So let's go really high to ultra. And I think this probably has quite a few settings still not. Here, but it's showing 22, 21 frames per second. And 17 frames a second. This is ultra. So here, actually, at 15 frames a second, still feels really nice to play. Uh, one thing that I'll, I want to note, I'm not going to talk too much about the game itself, because you guys probably can find that from anybody else, 
all those different things here, is that the backgrounds don't, they don't, uh, move when you go past them, like uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, I think is the name. A number of the Assassin's Creed games, you walk through different plants, and you notice here, the plants don't move, they just kind of disappear. As you walk through. Alright, so that's uh adjust the settings again. And use the D-pad here, it's a lot faster and easier. Alright, so set to ultra. But I'm gonna keep it ultra and we're just gonna adjust the display settings. Yeah, this is where I had it at. <coughs> Yes, keeping the settings. Okay, you can see it's a drastic difference between how those two look. This is right around 30 frames a second. These levels are really beautiful. So we're going to adjust down one more time. Uh, graphic settings. Put it at, there's no 1920 by 1080. Supply changes. This is fine. I love little glowy lights. Just want everybody to know that.
the red guys are bad guys. Anyway, that gives you guys a quick look at what this game looks like at these different settings and Ultra. Um, I, I'll have more to come, and we'll probably do another video of Apex Legends uh, here in the next few days. Alright, you guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and if uh, you're having trouble, I'll put this in the notes. If you can't get the game to run, uh, disconnect Bluetooth. Uh, I'm also on an old build of Windows right now.